Hey everybody, I'm Joe. I'm Lauren. And this is Candid at the Movies. This time we'll be talking about Indiana Jones barbecue and foot massage. Just kidding. Uh, Indiana <laughs> Jones. <laughs> Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Is that what it's yeah, something like that. Okay. Yeah. So um, there was definitely a dial. I don't know about the destiny part, but there was a dial in there. <laughs> so Lauren, as our um, guest and major like Indiana Jones fangirl, yes. tell me what you thought about this movie. I was a little disappointed as an Indiana Jones fan, mm -hmm. but it gives you the action that action lovers want. It gives you some laughs, but I was a little disappointed by the plot line. Yeah, I honestly, um, like you said, the action was fine. The yeah. CGI was pretty decent. Yeah. Um, even the de-aging of Harrison Ford was yes. pretty decent. Well done. They fumbled the entire third act, though. The entire third act was left me with far more questions than answers. Um, and when you speak about the plot, I'm thinking about all the plot points they didn't complete. And then the third act opened up more plot points that they didn't complete. So I left out feeling like I was watching an incomplete story. You would, you did? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Please stop doing time travel. I am so tired of time travel. That has been like for the past two years. I, there were certain good time travel movies, okay? But there were more than several bad time travel movies. And this one shouldn't have been one, and then it turned into one, and it turned me into a question. I had 2,001 questions. Okay, so we can say time travel because I got lost. There. Yeah, really, yeah, yeah. Really, really lost. Yeah, there is time travel. I'm not going to tell you how. I'm not going to tell you why and what happened. No, 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 because people can still enjoy it. It's just that if you're a super fan, you're going to be a little disappointed a lot of I mean for me not and I'm not even a big Indiana Jones fan like that I'm more of like a Star Wars Star Trek give me Mighty Morphin Power Rangers like, give me I anime I can't answer but, trivia for you but I do enjoy a good Indiana, Indiana Jones yes. yeah this is giving more Crystal Skull like just why did it happen why did they need to make this movie and I was expecting far more. And I think part of my disappointment was my expectations were a little bit higher. I don't know why, but my expectations were a little higher for Mine this were one. Too. Yeah. Also, um, Puss in Boots himself was in this movie um, for a little bit. Antonio, Antonio Vendetta. <laughs> but I anyway, like that. I love him, especially since uh, Zorro. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. I am mad at John, uh, George Lucas did this like this. Yeah, why did, why, did, why did they do this like that? I can't it, promise I'm going to see you next one, sir. Yeah, I mean, it was it was a jump shark moment, and I don't mind those as long as they're explained. It, it was not. It was a lot of jargon and mumbo jumbo, longitude, latitude, blah, 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 and then put the dial that way, and, they, and it was like, boo, time travel. And I'm just like, what? Just happened. And you might not ever figure it out. Nope, I'm probably not going to. It does not get explained well. Nope, it does not. I'm going to have to go to some YouTube channels, maybe uh, Emergency Awesome, and hopefully he has more information because I don't know what just happened. Anyway, Lauren, what would you give it as a grade? You know, after you explain all the things that upset you about it, I'm going to have to reconsider my initial thoughts on that. Really? Yes. Okay. What are you thinking? Probably a C. A C? Okay. I'm never going to watch this again. <laughs> yeah. This is a I'm never problem. watching this again! And that's sad because it's going to be free on Disney+. Plus. <laughs> well, not free. you got to play the subscription, but it's going to be on there. Who's going to watch it? Not, not I. I mean, I definitely never went back and watched The Eternals again. So anyway, um, for this movie, I have to give it a D. Um, it, it definitely fell far below expectations. They 
opened up more plot points than they could had time to answer. Um, I was disappointed in the story. The action was okay. The CGI was okay. Um, the actors with what they were given did very well. It, the story itself just let me down. So, unfortunately. But still had a good time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good time is a great way to beat the 90 degree heat if you're somewhere that it is 90 degrees like we mm -hmm. are. Yeah, yeah, it's hot out here. But you probably will not have a desire to watch it again at home. I agree. So Lauren, where can they find you? They can find me on Instagram at Addictive. Addictive. All right. So thank you so much for uh, coming back again. High five. And uh, again, I've been Joe with Canada the Movies. Please click that like, share, and subscribe, as well as hit that notification bell. Y'all have a fantastic day. Peace.